Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about what I think is like on the Sherco. So the first one is the handling. So this bike it's really mastered in the extreme stuff. When you go on like steep zigzags, like pivot turns and that stuff. So the handling of this bike it's amazing when you compare to the KTM and other brands. So so why that is happening? So the engine, the carb, the radiators, the fuel tank, everything is made to be in like center of the bike. So it's going to make the handling of the bike really easy like bicycle compared to the KTM bikes. So it has also bad things because of that. So you see uh, like parts like carb it's almost touching the gearbox and the engine also the radiators are almost touching the top end of the bike so yeah that is the really bad things but also you can see the fuel tank and the pipe inside it's almost touching the pipe so that's not good thing but because of that the handling on this bike it's amazing so you you can't compare this handling to any another bike it's something like trial yeah the, the sherco is really made on the trial bike basic so it's not easy to explain what i mean when it's handling really good so in really tight spots it's easy to turn the handlebar so the second thing is this bike is really good made so it's not believable how good quality this bike has so this bike has about two, 260 hours and I didn't replace the front bearings inside the rim also on the back I didn't replace it by the way this bike has two bearings on the left and one on the right but I didn't replace it so it's really strange so on the KTM I replaced on the back on like every 50 hours and on the front on 100 hours so also the engine it's really good made I don't have any problems also the electric power wall is working with no any problems also the KTM in like last year's had the problem with the electric start on this bike it's working with no any problems 260 hours and I didn't replace it the Bendix the also the, this bike is not having the bushings like the KTM it's having like small bearings what is going to make it really last long This bike is having really big fuel tank so it's about 10 and half liters so it's re really enough for full racing day so you don't need stop and refill the fuel in the race so trust me guys it's enough also by the way the fuel pipe is in this like position so on the first I was thinking uh, Sherco why you why you design the fuel pipe inside it's really it's really hard to reach with the hand and that stuff so this is stupid you need to pull put the pipe here and yeah it's not true it's on purpose so trust me now it's really easy to reach when you know where the pipe is and by the way when you crash it's not easy to reach with something like stick and anything so it's really good position for the pipe mm -hmm. 
Also the cooling on this bike is really good made. So you have like two wide radiators. Also you have this screw on the top if you want to bleed the cooling system to remove like every bubble of the air. Also what is really important and really cool feature the Sherco is having this automatic electric switch for the fan. It's also working like perfect, no any problems. So the fan is on the bottom of the right radiator. Also, what I think it's really cool, the if you boil the bike, but it's not going to happen <laughs> with this system, trust me, I tested this bike for 260 hours and no any problems. Always the the coolant level is on the right position, on right level. But if something gets really wrong and the fan stops to working, you have this uh, bottle on the on the end. So this is the overfill. Like when the bike is getting really hot, you get coolant here. And when the bike gets really cold again, on normal like temperature, uh, the radiators are going to suck back the coolant inside the radiators. So really nice future on KTM. You are not getting this like small tank. You are going to need it to buy it like spare, and then you going to need to install it in the frame on the front. That's on the KTM the case. Another good thing with this bike, you get really nice products when you buy the Sherco. So, when I got this Sherco, like with the factory version, I got a Kayaba suspension. So, this is like gold when you compare to other another suspensions. So, by the way, I also got the triple clamps from the Naken. Excellent stuff. Brembo brakes. Also, by the way, you get like front uh, pipe FMF, also on the back FMF, also the blue rims, really cool, really good looking. Also, with the stock bike, you get the cooling fan, on the KTM you can't get that. Also, I got with the factory version, I got the wider uh, coolant radiators, it's really important is going to cool the bike more easy and better for you on this bike you get like special stuff what you what you need to buy for the ktm on sherco you get it stock for free and also for better like prices trust me Also the Sherco is car bike with Kahin. It's not the TPI, throttle injection system, transfer port injection system and that stuff. So yeah, the Kahin carb is really easy to adjust. It's the best carb what you can find on the market for like two strokes. So first jet, main jet, adjusting the air screw, adjusting the needles, really easy simple step to adjust the bike to make it working really cor correct for the altitude and also for, for the temperature. Also by the way the Sherco is coming stock with the V-Force 4. So this bike with this setup V-Force Kahin Carb, it's working amazing, no any problems, really smooth, smooth, really powerful no any problems trust me it's more better system than the ktm with the tpi system transfer port injection this bike is more smooth than the ktm more power in bottom end and no any problems no any oil pump to fail to damage the engine piston cylinder cranks and that stuff 
So if you want really simple premix engine, Sherco is for you. Thank you very much guys for watching this video to the end. If you have any questions about the Sherco, please leave it in comments. So, see you soon.